All right, very weird video today because I was bored. Wanted to switch things up. I hated the way this bike pedaled and the way that it didn't want to roll downhill with the DH22s. Bike initially weighed 39.7 pounds, almost 40 pounds if you round it up. And this thing literally slows down when the hill is not that steep. I decided to put some XO plus casing tires on and shockingly it took two pounds off the damn thing and now this roll it's so amazing so even on like a slight gradual downhill it doesn't drag and this is the highest the seat will go so my it's still far from optimal but I'm not suffering on the flatter bits and I'm averaging like nine miles per hour. It rides softer. You know, like before, this saddle was unbearable. Even the suspension could not take up the harshness of it. But so far with the trail tires, it seems to be tolerable sitting down on it. I'm gonna see how this thing pumps and jumps on like the more mellow jump lines, but I'm actually shocked how much difference tires make on a downhill bike. Go so, see you at the trails. Check this out. I rode three and a half miles with 147 feet of elevation gain on pavement, and I wasn't even that tired. It's crazy. But yeah, this bike is definitely way faster now. I can't believe it's actually like handling it quite okay. You know, this is like a tech climb and it made it up. Huh. How strange. I'm sat down, the seat's down as far as it can go without the tire rubbing when it bottoms out. Oh, too steep, gotta hike. All right, let's hit the drop. I normally lose a ton of speed on that drop where I can't clear the table afterwards about pedaling. Let's see how does this thing do it. I don't even have any speed up here. I'm floating over it. This is my first time measuring Big Stepper. It's 12 feet long. That's why you need so much speed to clear it. Not hitting it because it's still too soft. Next time. Oh God, tech move. <laughs> that was nothing actually. God, that was, I don't know, that thing's got like a crazy sketch factor to it. <laughs> All right, pub track on a downhill bike. Let's see how my settings. <laughs> it's so slow. Oh my God. Manual. Ah, I know I could make it still. Yeah, it made it. 
Okay, that was unnecessarily tiring. Okay, poison rock. Let's go. It always feels like it wants to pitch me into that that patch of fucking whatever bush. First time hitting the line from the top. The downhill bikes all I pretty much have no excuse Damn, case alright gotta try I didn't go fast enough I did not even feel that case so hit the table on the right two pedal strokes hit that take off Didn't make it. It's so tight. <laughs> All right, I gotta go hit something smaller. Observation Everything happens in slow motion on this bike That right berm and the left berm Feels so slow, but I've definitely got the speed And I'm closest to clearing the table on the bottom with this bike so Send it off. <laughs> I said that and now it's like a... Ooh, cut it. Oh my god, I'm like going. Oh my I got oversprung. The bike flew in the air. I'm tired. I'm riding home. Bike seems pretty damn dialed. Didn't have to change any setups. 270 feet of ascending. Some of it is hike a bike. Now I gotta pedal another th three plus miles home. But downhill bike, all under my own power with no shuttle. You know, it's not bad.